The Saudi embassy ablaze in Tehran. Iranians lash out after a leading Shia cleric was among 47 men executed in Saudi Arabia on terrorism charges. The Saudi government says it made repeated requests for Iran to protect its embassy, but they were ignored. In response, the kingdom has cut diplomatic ties with Tehran. We are determined uh, not to allow Iran to undermine our security. We are determined not to let Iran uh, mobilize or, or create or establish uh, terrorist cells in our country or in the countries of our allies. The execution of Nimr al-Nimr has prompted protests among Shia communities across the Middle East. Nimr and the other men, including al-Qaeda preacher Faris al-Zarani, were charged with plotting and carrying out terrorist attacks targeting civilians and security forces. Nimr was sentenced to death for sedition, disobedience and bearing arms. He didn't deny the political charges against him, but said he never carried weapons or called for violence. Riyadh is adamant he got a fair trial based on facts and which followed a judicial process. A view supported by the Muslim World League, which says the death penalties in Saudi Arabia fell under Islamic law and they applied to both Sunni and Shia. Iran's supreme leader is warning of what he calls divine revenge. It is a wrong deed because this blood will trouble them without a doubt. I have no doubt about it. Policymakers executed them. The Saudi government's decision makers should not underestimate that this blood will trouble them. It will torment them. Iran and Saudi Arabia have often engaged in a war of words, and it's not the first time they've cut diplomatic relations. I think that the ties between uh, Iranians and, and Saudis were bound to clash at one point because there are so many uh, challenges facing these two countries and the points of views are diametrically opposed. Tehran and Riyadh support opposing sides in the conflicts in Yemen and Syria. The concern now is that the widening rift between these two regional powers will have a broader impact across the Middle East. Jarl Tan, Al Jazeera. Diplomatic ties with Iran following the storming of its embassy in Tehran. Iran's envoy has been given 48 hours to quit the kingdom. The escalating row between the rival Middle East powers over Saudi Arabia's execution of a Muslim Shia cleric has caused alarm in the US and triggered a jump in the price of oil. On Sunday, Saudi's foreign minister personified Riyadh's hardening stance. We are determined uh, not to allow Iran to undermine our security. We are determined not to let Iran uh, mobilize or, or create or establish uh, terrorist cells in our country or in the countries of our allies. It's feared the diplomatic rupture between Sunni-ruled Saudi Arabia and Shia-ruled Iran may snowball across the Middle East, where the two powers back opposing sides in many destructive wars. Others are already positioning themselves along sectarian lines in support of either Tehran or Riyadh. The prominent Shia cleric Sheikh Namir al-Namir was executed by the Saudis with 46 others on Saturday. Most had been convicted of terror-related acts. However, Namir was a well-known critic of Saudi Arabia's Sunni royal family and his supporters deny any links with terror groups.